However, the other two categories where yeah, the nerves are temporarily dysfunctioning due to the pressure or due to the decreased blood supply will come back to normal after a surgery. In next gen neurosurgery, today we will discuss about few things uh, about how people get neurological deficit when there is a compression of nerves either in the cervical or thoracic spinal cord. There are few mechanisms. One is complete damage of the spinal cord as a result of compression. And there is another situation where the nerves can be compressed, the circulation is less. However, there is no permanent damage to the nerves. It is a temporary dysfunction of the nerves. Third condition is there is no injury to the nerves or spinal cord, but they are temporarily dysfunctioning due to the pressure on the nerves. In these three conditions, if we do the operation and decompress the nerves, the totally damaged nerves will never recover. However, the other two categories where the nerves are temporarily dysfunctioning due to the pressure or due to the decreased blood supply will come back to normal after a surgery. Therefore, even if you have a neurological deficit, if there is a compression, there is a chance that you regain some of your function after surgery to the compressed area. Therefore, this message should be very clear even with a neurological deficit and if proper assessment is done and proper decompression of the nerves is done, some of the functions that is not there will come back after surgical intervention if it is done at a proper time and in a properly manner.